Action News continues with meteorologist Adam Joseph, Jamie Apodi, Rick Williams, and Monica Malpass. Time for Health Check now, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is reporting that more kids than ever before are being diagnosed with autism spectrum disorders. Health reporter and registered nurse Allie Gorman joins us at the Action News Big Board with the new numbers and what all of this means. Allie? Yeah, guys, we just got this report today. Now, the CDC has been tracking autism spectrum disorders for more than a decade. Researchers looked at 14 sites across the country, including Pennsylvania and New Jersey, and the new numbers taken from 2008 show that one in 88 children has been diagnosed as being on the spectrum. That's a 23% jump from the numbers in 2006. Now, one reason is that the disorder is being recognized and diagnosed better. We spoke with Dr. Margot Burke of Philadelphia's Center for Autism about that. There are more people that are better equipped to be able to diagnose. We've gotten better at it as we've been able to actually diagnose earlier and earlier. And most experts agree this is at least part of the reason for the increase in numbers. Other experts also say the definition of autism spectrum disorders has expanded. Still, the cause of autism remains a mystery. Dr. Burke suspects genetics play a role, which would explain why in the report one in 54 boys was diagnosed with autism compared to one in 252 girls. Still, she says parents shouldn't worry about the numbers, but should be aware of their child's early development in case there are problems. If we can catch them early on in development, sometimes we can catch them up in those developmental milestones. Again, early intervention is key to help kids on the spectrum. But turning now...